Hello guys, today we'll work with this Samsung Galaxy A51 that doesn't charge. Let's see what's the problem. First of all, let's check the charging using a cable type C and this base that can indicate us the consumption. I'm Adriana and Leonardo in today's video is going to solve the charging problem of this device. In order to get to the motherboard and the sub motherboard we have to remove the back cover. To retire the back cover with the help of the hot air gun or a hair dryer we have to apply 90 Celsius degrees. In the next step, we'll remove all the screws from the middle case. This step is very important. First of all, we have to remove the battery connector. In this way, we avoid possible short circuits. Here we have the main flex responsible for the communication between the charging module and the motherboard. We go to the microscope and we inspect the charging flex connector. As you can observe, the charging connector is damaged. In this case, we can replace the charging module or we can replace only the charging pin. As is a Type-C charging connector, I'm going to replace it with the help of the hot air station. We apply 370 Celsius degrees and 50% air and we use a high-powered hot air station GBC. If you work with a normal air station, it's better to thin the pads before and in this way will make removal easier. As you can see, I'm applying air directly to the charging connector. In this way, the heat goes to the motherboard and melts the solder lid. For this reason, it took longer than usual. To remove this connector, there are a thousand ways to do it. Just please support our content with a big like and in this way we continue recording real repairs from our workshop. Thank you. We apply a little flux and low temperature solder paste. In this way it would be easier to clean the old solder lid. With the desoldering wick, we clean all the area. It's better to use a thick tip and the soldering iron at 350 Celsius degrees. 
In this way, the solder lid is going to put liquid and we can clean it well. To clean the burned flux, we use a piece of cotton and contact cleaner. Once we have the area clean, we apply flux and we place the charging connector. I prefer to solder the sides first, so in this way we fix the connector on the motherboard. The trick to obtain a brilliant soldering consists of heating the two parts to solder at the same temperature. I do it like this. I put the soldering iron at 350 Celsius degrees and I count up to 3. And then I approach the solder wire. In this way the solder will melt right. To solder the pins I use a larger tip. Let's heat well the surface that we are going to solder. When we manage to understand the process we'll obtain a strong and bright soldering. Here are the steps for a good soldering. First we have to have a soldering iron that reaches the real temperature of 350 Celsius degrees. After that we have to work with the good flux and with the good solder lid. The most important thing is to have a soldering iron that reaches the temperature of 350 Celsius degrees. Nowadays there are good suppliers on AliExpress. I'm going to leave you on the description of this video and I'm gonna put some good providers from flux and solder lid. You have noticed that for the soldering of the pins we have applied the same technique. Heat for 3 seconds and then apply the solder wire. If you wonder what's the price of this repair in our workshop, let me inform you that we've charged to our client 49 euros. After we pay all the company bills, I consider that's a correct price for this client also. And of course, it also had a good guarantee because we take responsibility for any failure with our soldering. In the last 8 years I don't remember any soldering reclaims. If you use a good solder lid you are going to have a solder for the whole life. I can even assure you that this soldering is much better than the one from the factory which is solder lid free. Let's assemble the device and check the charging connector. As you can see in this base, we've got a good charging, 1.8 amperes. Guys, here's Leonardo, thanks for watching and don't forget to share it. Bye bye!